All right, so I'm going to show you how to uh, string this ukulele and many others like it. We've got our nut, which is loose, which is fine. We've got a nice set of good, valuable strings. And so we'll pop it open. Most strings will have some sort of a legend. This says one red, two blue, three green, four white. That's the sticker color on the package, and they're usually in order as well. So I'm going to start with this one. One, two, three, and four refer to the slots. The strings are numbered one, two, three, four. Always from the bottom. So on a guitar, one, two, three, four, five, six. On a bass, one, two, three, four, etc. First thing I'm going to do is put a little knot in it. Very simple. And I'll t tighten it with my teeth. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it's going to hold the string in place. I just put slid that in the bottom. Pulled it tight. Pulling it tight can be a little bit helpful at first, not crazily tight, just enough so that it doesn't fall out. And that looks good. Here's what the principle behind it. I'm going to align the hole so that it's headed north and south on this. I'm going to slide it through the string, through the hole. I'm going to bring it to the middle, under, over, and then I'm going to pull the top part forward and the bottom part backwards against it. And that's to try to give this string a little bit of memory to hold that corner. And it's done that a little bit. Now for the tricky part. I'm going to hold the string with both hands, or with one hand, both parts. Try to hold it a little bit tight. If you can see right here, it's going to come around. And that wind is then going to hold the string in place like a knot. And there it is. So it's on. Now I'm going to let the string wind. And I'm going to wind it downwards from the higher part down to the lower part. And you'll see why in a moment. It's getting close. It's going well. Now I'll slide the nut in. The string's ready to hold it in place. And then you can see I've got, uh, this isn't quite holding its pitch right now. And that's because the tuner is a little bit loose, which is totally normal. With friction tuners, you've got the uh, screw to screw in here. And if the tuner is too tight, you won't be able to tune it up. And if it's too loose, it won't hold itself in place. So you got to find that sweet spot and often make adjustments during the life of the instrument. So, and then you want to sing, My dog has fleas. And there's our first pitch. And it's going to detune regularly, but as long as this isn't spinning, it's the string stretching. That'll hold true for 24 hours. Now, let's come back to that principle. We align it straight up and down, through the middle, towards the middle, under, over, pull it, and put it in place. The same holds true here. It goes through here and then towards the middle. So the, on the ukulele, all the strings are going to come around on the inside and then wind to the outside. And there are two things to keep in mind. We talked about winding down, and that's so that there's a, an angle here that will both hold the nut in place and keep this part of the string from resonating too much. And then there's also keeping it from not pulling too much. If I put this string winding the other way around the outside, it would come up here and then pull so far to the side that it would pull over the edge. So they come up, over, and around. And you continue that for all the rest of the strings and then tune it up every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, it'll be settling for the first day or so. And then the strings will be in place and sound great. And that's how you tune your ukulele.